Hey everybody, what's up? Tyler here from Equities Lab, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Petrosky score. Now, the Petrosky score is a wonderful uh, score to go ahead and score and decide which stocks to invest in, um, especially as you can see on this chart here that you made over 250% um, buying the stocks with a perfect Petrosky score um, that you've then ordered by uh, their income statement. So basically, what this does is it just makes money. Um, uh, now, some of you might not know what the Petrosky score is. Now, the Petrosky score um, is this score uh, that has nine values in it, um, created by this guy named Joseph Petrosky. Uh, they decided on a creative name, I know. Um, he's a professor at the University of Chicago for accounting. So, um, he kind of knows what he's talking about when it comes to money. Uh, now, he kind of had this idea that value stocks tend to not be able to bounce back from the rut they're currently in, and that's why they're value. So we had nine different criteria that a stock had to meet to go ahead and be able to actually be invested in. Now, a lot of times you don't need to purchase a stock that has a perfect nine. Anything above six usually works out pretty well, but in the screen I'm showing you right now, uh, it does need to be a perfect nine and you buy 10 of them. Now this is on a weekly rebalance, so you go ahead and you cycle through your portfolio. The system will tell you what to buy um, and what to sell um, once a week. Um, we can actually go over and you can see the positions that it decided to pick today. So I can pick um, ALGN or TWC or GPX. Um, basically, what this is telling me to do is go ahead, buy all 10 of these, and then in a week come back and see which ones I want you to sell and which ones I want you to buy. I mean, which ones I want you to hold. Um, so let's go back over to the back test. Um, so looking at this, the screener, the perfect Petrosky score, um, made 250% in the past four years, while the index, the index uh, that we use, the S&P 500, only made 105%. Now, a lot of this was made in 2013, um, which was a big year in the stock market. Um, but you know what? We're still making pretty good returns all the way from 2010 to today. So I, I like this strategy. I, I like making money. I like making more money than uh, the index. I like beating the market. Um, so that's basically what this strategy does and what a lot of screeners kind of show you um, that they've done in the past and kind of if you keep with that strategy over a period of time uh, it will be successful and it will actually um, pan out now i'm not going to just tell you to go follow the petrosky score without telling you actually what it is so cool thing about equities lab is that we can act go ahead and explore the formula and actually see uh, what's being calculated here. Now there are nine different aspects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine different criteria and if it matches one of these criteria, it gets a point. If it doesn't match the criteria, it doesn't get a point. Um, it must match all nine of these for this perfect Petrosky score to actually spit out an answer. So first we're going to look at the net income. Now it needs to have positive net income over the past year. And it also needs to have positive operating cash flow um, over the past year as well. So it also gets a point if uh, the last year um, ROA is greater than the year before it. So these past 12 months, if the ROA is greater than the last 12 months, great. Check. We get a point. Um, now we're also looking at the quality of earnings, the cash flow. Um, the operating cash flow needs to be greater than the net income. Um, now we're also going to be looking at debt. Debt is a big thing in companies and it's a really big indicator of whether or not they're going to be able to claw their way out of that hole if they're even in debt um, and be able to actually move forward as a company. Um, so if the ratio of the long-term debt of assets is down from the previous year, then you go ahead and get the check. Or if there's just no long-term debt, if there's no long-term debt this quarter, then you can't really compare it. Um, that's going to be zero. So if it's zero, or if it's uh, less than the previous year's debt ratio, then you're good. So now if uh, the current ratio, this is another big thing. Um, so it gets the score if the current ratio has increased from pre previous years. Um, now, another big one is the shares outstanding. Now, some companies a lot of the time like to push um, shares into the market at random times, uh, and it almost dilutes the market. Um, so basically, what this uh, 
checks is to make sure that uh, the amount of shares that the company has outstanding in this quarter is the same amount of shares or less than the shares that I had a year ago. Um, now the gross margin, uh, if the full year growth, gross margin exceeds the prior year gross margin, basically you're just getting some growth. You're some growth. Um, now the gross margin is uh, the gross profit divided by the total revenue, so that just needs to be um, higher than last year's. And then there's the asset turnover. Um, basically, just measures that just measures the productivity of the company as a whole. Um, so if the percentage increase in sales exceeds the percentage increase in total assets, um, then it's going to go ahead and get that point. So that's basically the Petrosky score in a nutshell. Um, if you have Equities Lab, uh, you can explore this more in depth. Um, you can kind of go into each of these. As you can see, it'll kind of tell you uh, for total assets of five quarters ago, the aggregate amount of probable future economic benefits obtained or controlled by a particular enterprise as a result of past transactions or events. Um, so you get all these really cool little hints. Um, you get to actually explore how the formula works. and There's no secrets here. Um, and you can test screeners like the Perfect Petrosky score top 10 um, and endless amounts of other screeners. I think we're at 400 screeners that you can try. Um, also, if you guys want us to review or explain anything regarding screeners, if you want us to go ahead and actually look through um, a specific stock screener or recreate a stock screener, um, we'd be happy to do so, make a video about it. Um, just leave us a comment below of like what you guys want, um, and uh, we'll make it happen. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and uh, see you guys next time. Bye.